So, I went a little bit out of the box. Mine is a dynamic active stabilization system for model rockets. Model or amateur? Um, either. Okay. It's a fully airframe uh, scalable. The main issue with it is, so how many of you launched a rocket and lost it to the winds where it just goes, Wee. That's good, that's good. That's not that good. So, <laughs> now how many of you launched higher power rockets when you're launching these things and you get really wobbly video that makes you nauseated to watch? Nobody? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, my thought was, how can we stabilize this stuff? I was like, oh, it's too hard. I can't do this. I'm just a little fucking in, in a basement doing nothing. So I was fussing about the internet. I found the guys at Copenhagen Support Bus. There are these crazy dames who are making these big rockets with the, with the end plan of launching a person on one of the rockets. They built this one rocket called the Sapphire. It had active jet veins in it. I had found that when I was in PE class back in high school. I was like, that's really cool. So I started sketching ideas, figured out how to do it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go mess with this on my Arduino. And that is how Let's go backwards to this. This is a. Uh, well, that's the second version. The first version was this. Yeah, it was a hackaday sticker there. Shout out to shout out to you guys. Woo. So this was basically just a really simple MPU 6050 directly writing its red values of the uh, pitch and uh, yaw to uh, these two servos over here. That one out. It worked terrible. It was jittery. It was wobbly. <laughs> it was all around a mess. Uh, let's go to that one. Is this it? Yep. Pretty bad. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to add some more servos. So I added more servos. <laughs> and that's when I made this one. It was terrible <laughs> and jitterier. And the worst part was, I didn't fix the problem. So they both turned uh, opposite directions. It induced a spin. I was like, crap, what am I going to do now? So I went and called up one of my friends to serve you. Hey, can you help me out with this? Because I'm not very good with code. I'm more of a hardware guy. So we fixed that. And we went to this one, uh, which is right up here. So what this one does is, let's go power. What this one does, oh, reset it because it's locked up. Basically, when it reads a motion from the sensor, it cancels it out. It has full roll pitch and yaw. My next uh, plan is to go and uh, call up the local run, uh, airport, say, can I borrow your runway and drive a car down it at a high speed, aim this thing out the side window of it so I can see what actually behaves under airflow and see what kind of uh, control authority it has in motion, and then tune it from there. Unfortunately, I can't open source this due to ITAR, which is a pain in the ass in that game. Uh, because, this can't, because I know I, quote, I called up the guys at State Department and be like, oh yeah, uh, you're going to need an ITAR exemption for this? And I'd be like, why? Uh, because the terrorists might get it. <laughs> if a high schooler could do this in his basement after the internet, what can they do? And yeah, that's this project. I'm still continuing to work on it, working on upsizing it to an airframe. And then we'll be doing some testing on it later this year. Did they give you a classification? Did you call the state? Uh, no. Because it was ATC? because filing it would cost something like thirty thousand dollars a year, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm the shoestring budget. I can't afford that. It's not made in mind with the little kids in mind. I'm like, great. You can file a jurisdiction request well, and a classification request <laughs> for a lot less without having to file for a license. How much are those? I, I don't know. I can help you find it. Talk to that I'll guy. Talk to you after <laughs> this talk. <laughs> All right, so that's about my talk. <laughs> one more information, you can find it on my blog, t minus arduino.blogspot. The story didn't include the parents' side when you called the State Department. Oh, no, they're pretty cool with them. My dad's right. pretty familiar with ITAR. Nice. <laughs> <laughs>